fortunate enough to get invited to the soft opening for Tucson's newest barcade. Yeah, Cobra Arcade is the name. Granted, there is one in Phoenix, which you've seen in one of our Phoenix Comic Con uh, videos, but this time we get to see the one that they brought here to Tucson. One of our very own, so let's get inside and check it out. So this is Cobra Arcade Tucson, which is much larger than the one that we've seen in Phoenix. And then, and then they, they open it. Thank you. <laughs> I already like this place. They got feathers playing on the screen. <laughs> So I love it too because this place runs off of your classic old tokens and you could see the video game paraphernalia all over the place. But don't worry if you don't have any cash on you they do have an ATM next to it. What I do love too about Cobra Arcade is they get a lot of local artists to do the murals throughout the building and this is just one of the many. It's got a little taste of everything. A lot of Mario though. Little Even the tables are themed. They did have this over in the Phoenix location, which it looks like they have a, a different version of it here, a much larger, grander version above the bar. Neon on the back wall too. Love it. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. The entire bar top is layered with tokens and it is quite a large bar top all the way down. So we've got the menu. Oh. I think I might try that one. <laughs> Game over, man. God, I love this place. And if you're more into the beers, of course you could just go for your basic cans, your drafts, your wines, your ciders. And if you're not feeling up to any alcoholic beverage, you can go juice it up. Juice it up! Your happy hour, Tuesday through Friday, 4 to 7. And they have specials all the time. So let's get a drink and then let's hit up the arcade. <laughs> And that's the Kirby, and I think I'm gonna do the whiskey business. Appreciate it. So we got our drinks. I went with the whiskey business. And uh, I'm always a fan of Kirby, so I got the Kirby. So let's get a, a taste test right now of our newly concocted beverage. Oh, tastes just like Kirby. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's that's whiskey, all right. Mine's very pretty. It, it, mine has only a hint. You did like the thing where you drink the orange across the top of it. Uh, I'm not big on putting like a whole orange slice in. This is like a hint. It's pretty damn good. Oh yeah. Swap. 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 Cheers. Slancha. Hers is definitely more fruity, the way Kirby would intend. It is very whiskey. Hello. So what we've all been waiting for, the arcade. Little Alter Beast, Killer Instinct, Space Invaders. I like this Space Invaders though. It's got like a 3D going on in the backdrop. This is what I love about Corbett Arcade is the fact that they'll take a game that doesn't have an arcade game for it and create one for it. Now this is one you will not see every day in your usual arcade. Cuphead. They actually customized and built this on their own for their bars. I used to play this game all the time when I was a kid. I'm probably really rusty at it though. So Vanessa and I, with the help of Dan and Aaliyah from Nerd Build, we conquered this game. We defeated this game at Cobra Arcade in Phoenix. It's a lot of fun, especially when you got four people going at it. Aw, oh, hell yeah. 
A little zits ration pimple. Yeah, if you were a kid of the early 90s, you definitely spend a lot of money on this game. I'm more prone to Turtles in Time myself. Do you think I can beat Mad Max 4? Looks like Ace has it down. The second best Jurassic Park game, aside from the Sega Genesis version. I like how this was in the background of the bad guy's lair in the Rampage movie. Just look at all the art that they have put up here. Even the bathrooms have some awesome, unique art to them. And it's fairly easy to tell whose is who. Super Nintendo for the ladies. And PlayStation for the lads. For the gents, they get that dual shock. But don't go into the manager's office unless you have a fire flower. Ah, a little Westworld going on too. Oh, yeah. You old Brenner would be proud. Oh man, you know what we're coming down to do next? Get to the Contra! Wait, whoa, wait, okay. So that's just a little blatant over the top uh, Hulkamania and the Macho Man. Ooh, I'm gonna get you, Contra. Nobody puts Donkey Kong in the corner. Aw, Qbert. At least here they didn't shut off his game. And unlike the uh, Cobra Arcade in Phoenix, there are two levels to this establishment. Looks like the DJ will rock out here in the corner. And, oh, there it is. A little bit of joust. A little Simpsons bowling. What is awesome about this place, if you want to come and play any of the games, they have a little table right here that you can set your drink at, so then you can go ahead and use both hands together. All right, here we go. Look at that determination. It'd be better if I was fighting the Lich King. Uh, 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 uh. There it is. There it is. Wave two. Whoop, 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 whoop. I ain't no part of the left. Now back downstairs. We'll hit up the pinball. It's just up there. It is really, really hot. Granted, it is 110 out these doors over here. But it is very hot up there. I think it's time for Vanessa to try out hers. That girl's playing Galaga and everybody knows it. Now one time when we were at the Holiday Inn in Burbank, California, Vanessa ended up at a Galaga machine in their arcade at the hotel. And honestly, we were there for quite a while because she just kept going and going. Two hours later. You love the soundtrack. You want to try your hand at the game. <laughs> Right off the bat. So they got some for everybody. Luke Cage on one, Heather's on the other. Luke Cage, Heather. So now I have gone for the game over to Bill Paxton. So Vanessa got the bandita and I ended up getting game over. Spicy? It does remind me of the, the Mexican... Saladitos? Just like the Mexican candy where it has like the... Uh, it's fruity and then you get to the middle and it's all spicy. And I'll try mine. The game over. It's got a lemon peel on it, so... That's interesting. I think I prefer the whiskey business. But still, it's not bad. It's like Mike's Heart Lemonade with more alcohol. You wanna try mine? 
Sure. I was never a big fan of Mexican candy though, so I don't know how I feel about it. It does taste more mango. Yeah. Should we try our hand at some pinball? Yes. And I love how coming up the stairs, they've got the big Cobra mural here with their very own Tucson arcade machine. And while I was admiring the art, Vanessa has saved our place at the Back to the Future pinball machine. I don't know why though, but Marty looks That's quite fun. aged. That's what happens when you go 88 miles per hour your entire life. 88 miles per hour! They should have Huey Lewis blasting out of this thing. Like they've got Iron Maiden blasting out of this one. Einstein or Copernicus. I'm assuming it's Einstein. I'm assuming that's Seamus McFly. And then of course, Mad Dog Tannen. But who are these people? And is that Marty? Huh. And now it's time to look on this pinball with my own eyes. I mean, this pinball is different from what I remember. I don't remember an LCD screen being in the middle of it. Down. That's okay. Drink. Second drink. I know this guy tried to take my drink. I'm like, yo, I still got a second drink in here. So the girl at the bar recommended that I get the bandita and it's delicious. This is called the bandita. If you like mango, it's delicious. This one is pretty good too. This is actually really good. These two are my favorite. So it's cool because they have Attack from Mars here on one end. And then all the way on the other end, they have Revenge from Mars in 3D, which has a black light effect too, which is pretty sweet. Some of the pinball machines are only a couple tokens and the rest are a dollar, but they are pretty high quality, so a dollar makes sense. It's cool because the ACDC pinball machine actually has a sub-level to it, the depths of Hades, beneath the regular play. Oh yeah, that makes sense. So what I like about this place is that they have a little of everything for everybody. If you just want to come and enjoy the atmosphere and have a drink, you can. If you want to come and play games and to have a drink, you can. They have multiple games of different things. They got DDR downstairs if you want to dance. So it's like every little thing. And it's a good atmosphere. I really, really enjoy it. It's like Selena. We just want to dance. But now we want to get our Miss Pack by now on. <laughs> Chop them up, girl! Oh, she's waiting. Oh, I was gonna wait, but then I was like, it's the end. I'm really digging the tabletop art. I don't know if it's always been that way, but Tapper sponsored by Budweiser. And they got a little Budweiser tap lever. That's cute. The Cobra Arcade Bar. Uh, honestly, I mean, it was a lot of fun when we went to the one in Phoenix, and it's a lot of fun at the one here in Tucson. Yeah, this is definitely a place that will come back for sure, because who doesn't love to drink and play nostalgic? basically here so yeah nostalgia in game form which is pretty much how we spent majority of our childhood because guess what no Facebook no internet computers pretty much we just played vector and uh, yeah video games were our life and the video games here pretty much embody our childhood yeah and it's cool because it's like walking around so many of the workers here are willing to just walk up to you and start talking to you I had a guy while Granted, I was in my fourth quarter facing the Mavericks as the Phoenix Suns in NBA Jam. It was coming down to the wire and he came up to tell me about the joust game that they have upstairs, which obviously we knew. But because of my shirt, he came running over to tell me, hey, did you know we have a joust game here? So that level of attention to detail 
of what I was wearing in a dark arcade to tell me there's a joust game that's right up your alley. So that was cool. I lost by like four points. Damn Mavericks, that computer just took over. And I was still playing uh, Tetris. Uh, you know, those, that Tetris was one of the games that I would always play when I went and visited my grandpa because that was basically the only game he had. So I would just be in his room playing on his computer, Tetris. So that was a lot of fun playing that game. Now the cool thing is, is during the day here at Cobra Arcade, it's like this. It's calm, it's mellow, you can walk around, drink. They actually come up to you in the arcade while you're playing your games and ask if you want another drink. Yeah. Go, go get it. Which is fancy because a, a, a girl did come up to me and was like, hey, do you want another drink? And I'm like, no, I'm okay, I'm good. But at the same time too, it's like, like if I don't, I, I'm in my zone and I'm like, no, I'm playing and I have to get back to my to the game. It's clever. It's like the casino when you're playing a game and they're like, you want a drink? It's like, yeah, just give me whatever you got. So they probably do pretty well on the tabs here because you're willing to throw out a little bit more because you're in the middle of conquering Battletoads or Joust or Donkey Kong. So yeah. I see the merit in what they have going on here. Uh, and it's in the heart of downtown as well, located on Congress. A lot going on here on Congress, so. Yeah, they, uh, over the years, they have had really uh, bumped the credibility of downtown Tucson for sure. And having people like Carver, Cobra Arcade come to Tucson and create this, it's really building a momentum and repertoire of Tucson saying, hey, downtown is awesome, it's not bad. And it's funny, because like the one in Phoenix, you do have to travel a little bit from downtown to get to, uh, where this one is smack dab in the middle yeah, of it. Yeah, because if you go right down the street, you got the Rialto, so you can come here, play a little games before you go see a show. So. Fox Theater as well, so there's a lot going on around here. The drinks are reasonably priced as well. You go to the AMC and get a drink there, you're paying $10 just for a beer. And in here, I mean, it's 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 what you would expect from any normal bar, except here you get to play all your favorite hits uh, growing up so either way thank you guys for joining us for our trip to Cobra Arcade Bar Tucson thank you Cobra Arcade Tucson for inviting us here for the soft opening yes and now it's time for me to go and play Galaga again because I will play and she will win Starship Troopers. But you guys, you can check out the Cobra Arcade Tucson location starting on June 29th, Friday. So check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Startup. All the social networking gin joints, you know where they are. Kicking the party, pull the party, keep the party going at our Patreon. Gets us where we need to go. Thank you guys so much. And as always, now it's time to drink our drinks and play some games. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna get your contra!